everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama, and today I'm here to do a packing video. Finally, <laughs> um, I've been seeing your comments in a lot of my videos saying like, hey, this is cool, but we'd really like to see just more of your normal content, and I get that. I've been trying, I just trying to figure out what's the best road to take with my channel right now, but I do understand that people are hungry for just normalcy and packing videos and things like that. You know, I feel like as a country, we're all sort of ready to, to just like, have life back to normal and it's not quite there yet and maybe just doing a normal packing video would be helpful for you guys so i um i am not packing a diaper bag for anything right now because my kids don't leave the house but i still leave the house i still come to work i still um you know we try to do instacart usually just, i don't know if you know my story but like my husband is immunocompromised so is my dad so we sort of are just like on super lockdown just to make sure that we're staying really really safe so although I try to get Instacart most of the time, um, I do have to venture out to the grocery store occasionally and I have to bring a bag with me. I figure I just couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't get motivated to pack up a diaper bag and that might sound wrong, but it feels very sad to me to pack up a diaper bag right now. So I'm just not doing it. I'm gonna show you guys how I am packing up my 12 Little and the Sensible Mama Sensible Clutch for my short outings by myself during coronavirus. If you're new here, my name is Amber. I'm the owner of thesensiblemama.com. And recently I did a collaboration with a brand called 12 Little, where we came out with the Sensible Clutch. I'm gonna put down in the description a couple of other of my videos showing how to pack this bag up. I've done a Five Ways Wednesday and things like that. So you can see lots of different options for packing this up. But essentially this bag is just meant to be a quick trip or a day out with just one kiddo kind of bag. We're gonna get into the whole like bits and bobs of it in a minute. But basically it is a clutch that comes with an over the shoulder strap plus a cross body strap, which is made of seatbelt strap webbing. So it can be worn over the shoulder or cross body, whichever is more comfortable to you. The bag is vegan leather and it has two sections, a front side for mom and a back side for baby. But of course today I've just got this packed up all for mom. This comes in two colors actually. This is the sleek gray, which I absolutely love. And the first color that we launched is teal. That color is starting to run a little bit low on inventory. It's not like danger zone yet, but starting to run low, but we do have plenty of the gray. So both really great choices, just depending on whether you're feeling more traditional or a little bit more bold. So let's go ahead and jump right into the packing portion of this video. Okay, so let's just get right into it. This of course is available at thesensiblemama.com. I will leave links for this as well as the teal down in the description box below. And anything that I show you in here that I have a link for, I will provide that in the description as well. Always make sure you check that out because you never know when I'm gonna drop a discount code or something like that in that description box of any of my videos. So just get in the habit of checking that out because I like to do sneaky things sometimes. So here in the front portion of the bag, this one is it's really just meant to be like a wallet style of bag, but I've got a few quick grab essentials in there. I'm gonna say, I, I'm not afraid to criticize my own bags when they deserve it. This bag, when you have the back part packed up really full, you. You have to think of this as a wallet. And when I first, when we were first conceptualizing this together, me and 12 Little, you know, I wanted this to have a little bit more space to it, but I think that because the back does have so much space in it, as long as you get your mind around the fact that this really functions more like a wallet than anything else, I think you'll be happy with it. If you're looking to put like a sweater for yourself or something in here, even sometimes chunkier pins can be hard to get in here and not create like a bulge on the front of the bag. Um, you just, you need to know that going in. This is really more like a wallet, but functionally you can do some other pretty cool things with it. I do wanna show you quickly that in this front little slip pocket here, you can fit a phone. This is my iPhone 11 Pro and it does fit in there. But if you're gonna put a phone in there, if you have any kind of pop socket or ring grip on it, and if you have anything in this front little zipper pocket, it's gonna be hard to make it fit without bulging. So if you wanna use this as a place for your phone, just know that you should probably not have anything bulgy like what I have in here in this zipper pocket. But I wanted you to know that that phone will fit. Look at me making it rain over here. <laughs> Sorry, quarantine is messing with my brain. All right, so in here, I just have some of my credit cards and debit cards in these card slots. As you can see, you get four card slot holders right there. And then of course, this back slip pocket, which I just have 10 bucks stowed away in there. On the other side of the front pocket, there is two 
credit card pockets plus a an ID window right here. So that's where I have my driver's license. I don't really carry a lot of cards, so I don't have anything over here. I just, I'm gonna pack authentically. I'm not gonna like try to put things in slots when I don't have anything for them. But you do have two extra card slots right over here as well. Down in the bottom of the bag, it's sort of tucked away under this row of card slots. There is a pen loop right here, but these sort of chunkier pens that I like fit in there, but they sort of make the bag make a little bit of a wobble when you put these in there on the outside of the bag. So I just like to put mine down in the bottom. In the front zipper pocket right here, I have a Limea brand Pretty Pod. This is never for sale. This is what comes with your Limea brand big bags. And what I have in here is stuff for my nails. You may have noticed I look nice and manicured, but these are really just press-ons. They will pop off if you're not careful. So sometimes I like to just keep the extras from my kit as well as the glue and a little cuticle thing right here just for touching up my nails if I'm out and one pops off. Because if I do have my nails done, it drives me absolutely crazy if one comes off. So that's what that's for. And really, that was everything that I had in this front pocket. Like I said, it's more like a wallet than anything else. And that was really all I had in that front pocket. Like I said, it's really more like a wallet with a little bit more space than a wallet if you will. So moving on to the back is really where I think this is packed up really cool. I'm going to open it up just halfway and give you a little peek into the top here so you can see how everything is laid out. I love this bag because I can open it halfway and just peek in and really be able to grab for anything that's sitting in there. It's all nice and organized, but I can also open the bag full out, which I'll show you. Things are gonna topple when I do this because I don't have them secured. But I can open the bag all the way flat like this and just sort of see a flat lay of everything that I have in my bag. So let me start with the loose pieces since those are gonna be the hardest to keep secure in here. The first thing that I have is another Limea brand Pretty Pod. This is in the color I'm Moody. And in here, I just have my pill case and an extra hair tie. Next, I have a Limea brand coin purse in the color Boss Up. For those of you who are curious, the restock of the coin purses and wallets are out of production. They are done being made. We're just waiting on hang tags and tissue. So those should be ready to ship to me pretty soon and I will be letting you guys know when they're ready to launch. But in there, I just have my AirPods. I have another Limea brand coin purse. I love my brand, I'm sorry. I'm not even trying to shamelessly promote, I just, I love this stuff. Uh, so in here I have my lip gloss and lipstick. And that was everything that I had kind of in pouches and those things were just sitting in the center piece right here. Over here in the elastic pockets, I have the small bag from the Bumpkins Window Bag Trio. This is in the cacti print. I'm filming this on Tuesday and this video is going live on Wednesday, which means Today, the day you're watching this, all of our window bags will be back in stock from Bumpkins. So this is a three pack. You get a small, medium, and large size matching window bag set. And I absolutely love these things. So what I have in here are two no-sew face masks. My mom made these for me. She's the sweetest. Um, so these are just, she did put enormous safety pins on there. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that. Those hurt my face a little bit if I try to talk. <laughs> But I love her and you know what? These are really great to have if I have to run in somewhere uh, and it feels crowded and just, I just, I'm not feeling good about it. I can put on a mask. I like having these inside of this bag because I have one plus a backup and the one that I have used, I can go ahead and put it inside of this machine washable bag so that I can just get it home and get it in the wash. And I love that these Bumpkins bags fit so perfectly in the elastics of the Sensible Clutch. Now over here, I have some stuff that actually all of this, some of you might call excessive, but again, I do have immunocompromised people in my family. We are trying to just be extra safe. And personally, I just feel that anything that I can do to keep myself and others safe is probably not a bad thing. One thing is just a normal thing that I have, which is some face wipes. A lot of times I'm going out without makeup and I don't know, sometimes my face just feels cracked or dry or yucky and I like to be able to wipe my face off. So I've got those in there. I've also got a welly kit. This is one of the little travel sized ones. And what I like about this is that it's got all kinds of little packets. One of them is antibiotic ointment, which is just always nice to have on hand. And then another thing that comes in here is hand sanitizer. And that's still kind of hard to come by. So I like having this with me just in case I need to sanitize my hands. And then of course I've got a few band-aids and things like that. 
So that fits, I mean, this is a pretty wide thing and it fits really nicely in here. And then lastly, this is the thing I think you guys are gonna laugh about, but I've been keeping some soap with me. I, as you can see, I've not even unwrapped this one yet, but you know, <laughs> I, I just generally try to avoid bathrooms out, but if I have to go in one, I am always just a little bit reluctant to use the, the soap dispenser. Uh, cause a lot of times, like, I don't know, the ones here, you actually have to put your hand on it to pump it. And while we're all trying not to touch things that other people have touched and just do our best to be cautious about that sort of thing, I just feel good knowing that I have my own soap. <laughs> um, and I can slip it right back into this packaging. I know I may seem nuts to some of you, but for me, it just gives me a little bit of comfort to know I have that. Have I used it before? No, but I like knowing it's there. So that is everything that I have been packing in my sensible clutch. I'm just gonna put all of these things kind of back here right now so that you can see how they went back in. There you have it. That is the sensible clutch packed for quarantine trips out. All right guys, so that is how I'm packing up the 12 little and the sensible mama sensible clutch for my outings just as by myself. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. Like I said earlier, if you wanna check this out, this is for sale at thesensiblemama.com. We are shipping daily, and if you place your order between one o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, usually we can get your order shipped same day, otherwise it will go next day. Love ya, mean it always, and I'll see you in the next one.